In this video, I will show you how to fix GTA 5 not launching. I will be covering a few methods, and for the first method, I will show you how to add GTA 5 as an exclusion from your Windows Defender. Your Defender might have detected the GTA 5 folder as a virus and might be stopping you from running it. To do that, you will need to go over to your desktop, then navigate to the bottom left and press the search button. After you have done that, in there, write Windows Security and open up the application at the top. Now, after you have gotten inside of this application, you select the virus and threat protection tile right here. Then you go into virus and threat protection settings and you press manage settings. Now you scroll down till you find the exclusions part right here and you press add or remove exclusions. After you have gotten inside of here, you will need to click the plus button right here, then press folder and locate the installation folder of GTA that you have. For me, it's on local disk E, then Epic Games, then GTA 5, and I just press it once and I press select folder. And as you can see, I have successfully added it as an exclusion. After you have done that, you can just go over and run your GTA 5 and see if it works. If it still doesn't work, you can move over to the next method. For the next method, you will need to check whether you have got the latest version of your GPU drivers. If you don't, that might be the reason why you can't launch the game. To check that, you will need to go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button, then write device manager, then press the enter button, and after you get in here, you can open up the display adapter section right here, then locate the GPU that you're using, select it, press right click, and then press update driver. You can either search for your, the drivers automatically, or you can browse your computer if you have downloaded specific drivers. I'll select search automatically and the best drivers for your device are already installed. After you see that message, then you can close this and try relaunching GTA 5 and see if it works right now. If it doesn't, you can move on to the next method. For the next method, you will need to verify the integrity of game files. This basically checks the whole game directory and locates corrupt files if there are any and replaces them with fixed files. To do that, if you're using Steam for GTA 5, Let's say go over to your library, then let's imagine this is GTA 5. Select it, press right click, then press properties, then go to install files, and then press verify integrity of game files. If you're using Epic Games, open it up, then go to library, scroll down and find GTA 5, press the three dots right here, then press manage, then press verify right here where it says verify files. After you have done this, you can just go over and launch GTA 5 once again, and if it still doesn't work, you can go to the next method. The last method is also the last resort, which is reinstalling GTA 5. This process should be pretty simple. I hope some of the methods helped you. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.